If you dare to fall for the mermaid, I'll give you fair warning, my friend. There's no turning back from the trance of her call. You're now a merman. You're now a merman. Welcome to the Nail Engineer, and today we have got the lovely Rachel. Hello, Rachel. Hi. And she is having a menacing mermaid with this matte mermaid shell using chameleon pigment. Um, that a lot of people have been liking on Instagram. So I'll get some good close-up pictures of this, but you get the idea. Um, basically, she is wearing some Born Pretty um, Chameleon Chrome, which is stock number 38616-2, also known as BRB20 in the pictures. And all I've done is I've just patted that. Here it is chromed. And again, I'll get some daylight pictures so you can really see that. The flip this is it chromed and this is it patted into the tacky layer which is what we've got here and then i've just got matte top coat over the top and then we go in to do this shell design with the gel bottle ink rubber top coat which is epic stuff and it's no wipe and it's really really good for doing like 3d designs like this kind of thing and if you're wondering what this lovely stuff is on my slightly manky three week old manicure um this is actually a, a glitter or de-glitter which is called nikki and it's like super hollow and it's just lush and um yeah i, I expect to see this coming up on my channel soon anyway back to the matter in hand which is this mermaid look and we go to the other hand here's one i made earlier um and if you like in those flakes as well which match quite nicely indeed i will also put a link for those in the description box below all of these products will be in the description box below so don't forget to actually read that so here we are all ready to go on and the base color that I've used on this is just the gel bottle ink, uh, Jet Black 003, which is my go-to super opaque black two coder. So all we're basically gonna be doing is dumping spermy looking threads and uh, blobs and then threads of these um, kind of this rubber top coat with just a shitty old brush. Um, I've got a variety of detail brushes and this is the one that I use for using like kind of builder and doing 3d work because it always gets kind of clagged up so i don't use like a perfectly good brush on that so then we're just going to be dotting down and then dragging back and it's easy peasy so i'll show you how to do the first one and then we'll just speed it up and all i'm doing in between times is just flash curing for about 20 seconds we'll do it with this um, sometimes you can get away with 15, but I find 20 seconds seems to be a nice kind of safe amount of time. So first one, you want to go on the center of the nail and just kind of circle that blob on and then just pull back. And don't worry, if you break the thread, you can always go back to where you've still got some product, pick some up, and you just want to drag that back to the cuticle and once you get this line on that'll keep you right for the rest of the design and then just wiggle off and into the lamp to park here now when Rach comes out I'll be basically just putting one either side and I find this is the best way to do any kind of freehand work if it's something symmetrical start in the middle then radiate outwards break down your design into manageable components so Let's chat, let's speed it up. Thank you. 
after doing all of the little spermy strands individually and like kind of flash curing them for kind of 20 seconds, 30 seconds, whatever, as you can see, I built up my little kind of, it's almost like spokes of a wheel, isn't it? Um, and then I just pop my little blob on there because Rachel's a hairdresser and she will really, really struggle. I'm just moving the light around. Sorry if I'm distracting, but I want to show you some of the colors definitely check out the pictures i'm going to go outdoors and get uh, rach to finger my bush i've got a rather nice bush that gets a uh, good light in the garden yes she's gonna finger my bush in the garden <laughs> um we're only related by marriage i, I should say <laughs> i should mention so she's not like my blood cousin so i think that's okay does that make it all right anyway um while she fingers my bush we'll see the wonderful colors which you're only getting a tiny little flavor of here but i couldn't put jewels on her she needs something smooth that's not going to like rip out people's hair so there they are those are menacing mermaid matte shell 3d shell nails um i've had quite a few requests for this so i hope that you liked it thank you very much for watching and i will see you next time